Imagine this conversation between a team and its customer on the last morning of an iteration. Well, hello there, Mr. Customer. You'll be happy to know we've finished this user story. It's completely done. Well, that's great news. It's tested and everything. Yep, we just finished up the testing a little bit ago. Well, so we can uh, turn it on in production this afternoon. Well, it's not actually in production yet. Uh, you know, it needs to, it's not quite even in staging. It needs to go through staging before we get to production. Well, so let's push it to staging. Well, I guess we could do that. You know, there is some a uh, little bit of the user documentation that we ought to clean up that's now potentially confusing because it's changed. And, you know, there are a couple of defects that were turned up in our testing. Nothing big, but things we probably ought to address. Uh, you know, people won't, won't like using it with those defects, those bugs in there. And, you know, there, there also my, my TL was telling me that uh, there's, there's now duplication between these three classes that we ought to clean up at some point. And there's a slight chance that uh, the work we did on this story might adversely affect that feature we built three months ago. We won't know that till we do a complete regression test. And so when you said this was done, you meant, now let's stop right there. This is a classic example, uh, unfortunately one that I've lived, and you may have too, of a team calling something done, but having knowingly deferred a bunch of work that needs to happen for a user story to really be usable by somebody. And if you multiply that conversation times six or 10 user stories in the iteration, you end up with a phenomenon that I call colloquially iteration slop, where the work that ought to have been done within an iteration's time box, within a bucket, slops out of that iteration and goes and gets all over other iterations. And this is a problem for a couple of reasons. The, the obvious reason is that any work that I'm going to do this iteration that has to do with last iteration stories is, is reducing my capacity for the current iteration. And that tends to be unpredictable. How much time am I going to have to carve out from this iteration's capacity to, to clean up from last iteration? The second reason that iteration slop is problematic is even more insidious, and that's that it reduces our flexibility. What we're supposed to be able to do at every iteration boundary is pivot or change our minds or reprioritize based on the learning and our new understanding. And if I'm in a situation where I'm at an iteration boundary but I still have stuff that's not quite done, um, I've either got to abandon that work that's in progress or I've got to wait until I can make the changes that I, that I want to make. So you, you get into that situation and very quickly the agile value proposition becomes a lot less attractive to customers. This is the problem that definition of done is intended to address. Imagine all the work that needs to be done for a user story to be truly production ready as a line going from here to here. And this is everything from requirements, design, testing, coding, uh, deployment, regression testing, performance testing, actually putting the thing into uh, the right environment. Um, and the definition of done tells us exactly how far along that line we intend to get before we call a story done. Now in an ideal, agile world, we would get to the end of that line for every single user story. We'd be able to, as soon as the team called the story done, we'd be able to turn it on in production. Now there's a variety of reasons that we don't actually get there often in practice. Uh, things that, that we haven't figured out how to do uh, efficiently or, or, or cheaply enough to really do every story, such as a complete regression test. And sometimes we, we, we agree to do those things once per iteration or even once per release. And that's workable as long as there is this explicit understanding between a team and a customer of what we mean when we say something is done. What is not okay is for a team to habitually or culturally, or for whatever reason, defer work that really could and should be done as part of that user story work to defer that to a future iteration and still call things done.